Heads way up at Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. My yeah. guy Mano is here. No Good Mano. morning. Uh, let's get into some Yee tea. Now, Bob Marley has hit a Billboard chart for the first time ever, more than 40 years after wow. he's died. Um, so he's debuted on that chart, and he's never been on there before. I guess it probably wasn't really around. They had this t- uh, top streaming album start it debuted only a few months top ago. Top streaming chart? Yeah, because yeah, streaming around. was yeah. not around. Yeah. So now he's landed on that. And One Love, by the way, is a huge hit at the box office, nice. earning more than $120 million globally. That is dope. I saw it, too. How would, it. Uh, did you love yeah, it? I loved it. Did you see my girl Naomi Cowan in it? Who? Naomi Cowan. She's, she always performs at Angela Yee Day. Oh, yeah. yeah, she yes, yeah, she was amazing yeah, in it. Shout yeah, out to you. It. She was amazing. Shout out to my yeah. guy Rob Mailer for working on that movie too. But nice. that's such a big deal. All right, and another movie news: Kelly Rowland's Mia Copa is number one on Netflix's most watched list. Kelly so, Rowland looked good. <laughs> We've been knew that, Mano. You know? No, like she looked amazing. She's, she's she's gotten better, I think. Oh, that well, that's the goal. Yeah. Shout out to you, Kelly Rowland, and she posted, "Wow, what a what dope news to wake up to." Thank you to everyone that streamed Mia Copa. You saw that too. I saw it's some. Of it. I, fell, I fell asleep on it, but I liked it. I liked it though. I think she cheated on her husband. Mm-hmm. Okay. And she and he asked. He said, "Did you sleep with him?" She said, "Yes." Ooh, what should she have said? No. I mean, I would have said no. <laughs> you would have said no. Okay, yeah. good to know. Uh, now let's move on to Ray J and his wife, Princess Love. She has filed for divorce. She posted on social media, Dear friends and family, it is with heavy hearts that we share the news of our decision to divorce after much reflection, discussion, and counseling. We have come to the difficult realization that our paths have diverged, and it is in the best interest of both of us to part ways. We want to reassure you that this decision was made thoughtfully and with mutual respect and consideration for each other's well-being. So it looks like it is happening. Man, another one bites the dust. You know, they have broken up and gotten back together and filed for divorce previously. Um, and then, you know, Ray J filed for a divorce dismissal. Man. And so now, and I think he filed at that time. His It was his divorce filing. And so that was dismissed. And he had posted at that time, had to get my wife back and start fresh. But it looks like things did not end up working out been, for the two I've of them. Been, I've been out here pushing and fighting for black love, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, Ray J's been up here quite a few times yeah. when we launched Way Up With Angela Yee. He guest hosted a lot. We did that's a whole right. party. That's right. Shout out to that's Ray when J. That's when New Mano was born. New Mano. That's right. That was right. born out of Shout Ray out J. to Ray J. If it, wasn't, <laughs> if it wasn't for Ray J, we wouldn't have that drop. All right. And Kanye's accusing Adidas of rape for selling unapproved Yeezy sneakers. Here's what he said. Not only are they putting out fake colorways that are non-approved, they're suing me for $250 million. They're also not paying me for these shoes that they're putting out that have my name on it. And they're using contract clauses and 50 years of business experience to rape an artist. All right. He also posted a picture most recently with the CEO of Adidas. So I guess uh, it looked like they were reconciling, but behind the scenes, I guess not. And he said, anybody who loves Ye would not buy these fake Yeezys. I never made these colorways. I'm not getting paid off of them. And Adidas is suing me. All these celebrities in the public will stand against the T-shirt or the color of my hat. But when y'all see me have my children hidden from me or see an actual Fortune 500 company rape one of your heroes in real life, don't nobody say nothing or do nothing. So he wants you to know it's corny. Do not purchase it. All right. Well, that is your Yee Tea. And when we come back, we have About Last Night. That's where we discuss what we did last night. New Mano, you're yeah. up early. So I'm going to assume you got a little rest. But we'll talk about it. It's way up. Way up.